All right. In this video, we will learn to connect FileZilla with Digital Ocean Droplet to edit files. The first thing is to download FileZilla. On the main website, click on this button. Then click on this green button. Then we will download the first program. Once downloaded, install it on your PC. I have already done it. Once installed, open the software. Now we will return to DigitalOcean and open the droplet we want to connect. Click on this Site Manager button in FileZilla. Here you won't have any sites. You will click on this New Site button and give it a name. Change the protocol to SFTP and copy the IP version 4 of the droplet and paste it into the host area. You can leave the port field empty or insert 22 which is the default port. Here we will select normal which will ask for the username and the password. This is not your digital ocean password. This is your droplets root password. If you don't remember it, it's okay. We will learn to reset it. If you remember it, skip the next part. Now to reset your password, click on access and click on the reset root password button. It will take a few seconds. Once the process is complete, you'll see this notification. A temporary password is sent to your email. Let's open it. This is your temporary password. Copy it, go to DigitalOcean and click on this console button. You can see here that it says to insert your password. Paste the copied password. Then it will ask to insert a new password. Insert a new password and confirm the password. Now the root password is set. Let's go to FileZilla. Type your username. In most cases, the username is root. You can see the username on this console window as well. Insert your password and hit this connect button. Click OK if the message appears. You can see the status of the connection here. When the program is connected with the server, you'll see those files here. To go to the WordPress files, double click on this question mark. Scroll down here and double click on this WAR folder. Then double click on this www folder. Lastly, open this HTML folder. This is your WordPress directory. To edit a file, we have two ways. You can right click on a file and click on view slash edit. This will open a dialog to choose the program. Or you can download the file. It will be downloaded in this directory, which is the download folder by default. Let's download this file. You will see this notification. Now right click on the file and click on edit. Choose notepad. If you can't see it, Click on this more apps arrow and you'll see it there. Change anything you like and go to file and click on save. Close the file. All you have to do now is right click on this file and click upload. Leave it on override and click on ok. You will get this notification. Don't worry about this message because the file has already been uploaded. You can open the file to see the changes. Alright, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and help it grow. I'll catch you later.